Hey, welcome back. In the previous video, we have seen how to create this fire explosion. And now in this video, we are going to see how to add a smoke trials to this explosion. So first we'll take a node called pyro trial. So select this and just I will enable this. So here you can see it has been created uh, one trial. Uh, so if you click on this play, so we got this animation here. And also if you click on this, so we got actual points from this. So if you click on this play, so it has been created some points. So we'll go to the settings of this trial path. So I will enable this. And if you select this, we have some settings here. Uh, so you can change the size. So we can change the initial size and also we can change the direction. And also here we can change the shape. So at present for this, uh, we need this pair. So just I will uh, change it to like pair. And also we can add the number of trials. So we can add number of trials. Let's say just I can uh, change it to like 50. And also we can change the angle here. So the spreading angle. So suppose if you want to, uh, if you want the trial should not go much higher. So we can use this angle. So if you decrease, so it is going much higher. And if you decrease, now it is not going that much of higher here. According to the explosion, we can change this angle here. And also we have this spread angle. So just we can change the spread angle. And also here we have this uh, prone by noise. We can enable and just randomly it will create the trials here. We don't need this. So just we'll disable this option here. For time being, I will change the size of these voxels so that easily I can see the uh, fire here. I will give the value to like uh, 0 0.8 or something. So for time being, literally we will just decrease this. So I will enable this pyro volume. So actually we can go to like uh, that 40 frame and now we can see this uh, trial. Uh, so just I will template this part trial. So just I will template and now we can adjust the size. So we'll change this initial size. So we'll select this and now if you go see your here, you can see that initial size. So let's say we can give to like 20 or something. So now it will increase the trial size. And also we'll go to this trial generation. So here we can change the velocity scale. Uh, so just we can give the value up to like 47 or something. So here if you come down, you can use this drag option and also we can use this mass option. So just we can adjust this. Just we'll enable this. And also now if you want to increase the duration of this trial path, uh, we can like in the trial generation, we can go down. And here you can see there is an option like trial duration. Default rate is like 72. So we can select, uh, let's say we can, uh, give the value to like 120 or something or 110. So if you play this now, see it is, uh, it will stay for like 110 frames. So uh, let it be like a default. So we can give the value to like 72. And if you go up, uh, you can see there is an option like enable lengtheners. We can enable this and also we can change the minimum and the maximum size of this length. So if you want to make a random uh, trials here, we can use this option like enable length. So now we will select this. So just enable this. And now if you see it has been created some points and now we can adjust this uh, shape of this point. So if you select this one and here you can see the particle separation, you can increase and also we can increase this points length. So just we can increase the length also. And if you want more particles, you can decrease this wall value, give the value to like 0 0.02. And also here we have this radius option. We can increase and decrease this radius. So just we'll increase this particles. Okay. And also we'll decrease the length. And also if you come down, you can enable this uh, trialing noise. So just we'll get this random shape here. And also we can adjust this amplitude and just we can use this size. Just to get more random trials and also I can uh, increase the number of particles and also like if you select this trial animation you can see we can increase and decrease the speed so let it be like a default and we can go to this trial component and if you come down here we can create the source uh, so now we can add the source so we can select this and just create source and we can add this temperature and also you can enable this prefix attribute name and also uh, enable this option like scale along trialing so just enable this and also if you want to fade out we can enable this scale over duration and now we will create the simulation so if you go uh, here you can see there is an option like quick setup so select this and you have to select this pyro simulation now it has been created this node pyro solver uh, so now if you select this and just we can increase this vocals voxel size for timing so we can give the value to 0 0.5 or something and now we'll click on this play 
So we got this trial. So next we'll go to the field and just we'll decrease this 0 0.05 or something, the dispersion. So just you will get, you can able to see properly. So still we cannot able to see properly. So just we can go to the look and we can increase this density to like 60 or something. And next we can go to this sourcing and now we have this source like density, temperature, flame and divergence. So here in the operation for this density, we can select it to like add. And also just we will change uh, uh, some settings in like trial source. So if you go to this trial source and in the trial shape, we can increase this length and also we can increase this radius here. So just we can change it to like 0 0.4 and also we can increase the length. And now we will see this. So now we can able to see it properly. So just if you click on this play. So now it is okay. So now we will see this. Uh, so just we'll take an match node and just we will connect this both. So select this. Just you can enable this. And now if you click on this play. So now what the thing is the trials are starting at the first frame. So we need to offset this trial time. So now in order to change the initial uh, frame, so we can select this trial path. And here you can go to this trial generation. And if you come down here, you can see there is an option like start frame. So the trials are going to start at first frame. So we can change it to like 10 or something. So now if you see, so now the trials will start after this 10th frame here. And also we'll uh, decrease number of particles. So if you select this trial source and here, let's say we can give the value to 0 0.07 or something. And also if you select this volume rasterize here, defaultly uh, the voxel size is 0 0.07. So just I will delete this channel first of all. And now we will select this pyro solver. And if you come to this setup, we can copy this like copy parameter and we can come here and just we can right click paste relative reference here. So whenever we make any changes to this pyrosol or voxel size, so it will be applied to this volume rasterize. So now we will see this. So just enable this and now just click on this play. So we got this smoke trials and next uh, we can select this pyro solver and we can go to this fields and just let's disable this flame and like emit from flame. And also we'll decrease uh, like 0 0.01 or something, the dissipation. Uh, so now we'll just click on play. And also we'll see this with the uh, explosion. So just I will enable this match. So now what the thing is we need to refine this uh, smoke. Uh, so if you select this, now still it is not realistic. So we need to make that. So for that we need to take a node called blast. So select this blast and we need to connect from this volume rasterize and just enable this. So here we need to select this trial temperature and also just we will select this delete like non-selected after that we will select this pyro solver and now if you go to this output and here we can disable these options like temperature flame velocity and color and also just we will enable this convert to vdb use 16 bit float so now we will match this both uh, so select this so we will take a match node match and just i will connect in between his and also just I will connect this blast to match and I will enable. So now we can add the shader. So in order to do that, we need to take an pyro bake volume and just we need to connect from this match, enable this. And if you select this and here we can increase the density scale. So like we'll give the value to like 50. And also if you go to this fire, secondary fire, we can enable this secondary file so that we can see this fire at the end of the smoke trials. And also if you want to increase the intensity, you can use this option, like you can increase and decrease this intensity. So now we can add the details. So if you select this pyro solver, uh, we can go to the setup. So just we can give the value to 0 0.2 or something so that we'll get more details. So now we will just click on this play. So select this. So now we are getting this nice smoke trials. So once we'll see this in like flip book, uh, so just I will add it to the flipbook here. So just I will select this. So just first we'll set the angle. So select this, uh, just I can give it up to like 150. And also I'll click on the start. So I have created the flipbook up to like 70 frames. And also here you can see now 
the smoke is going to add continuously uh, now what the thing is just i need to uh, change this option so just if i close this flip book and if you select this pyro solver and in the sourcing uh, you can see there is an option like operation in the density just i will change it back to the maximum so that now it will not generate the smoke continuously so in the next video we will combine this explosion and smoke tiles and also i will show how to render the explosion so see you in the next video